a hearty welcome to one and all. I am Rohini Batwal from Gokhale Education Societies, JDC Bitku English Medium High School with 8th Standard Science Subject. And my topic is Reflection of Light. Students, when we get different feelings to our senses, the sense of vision is the most important among our five senses. Because of this, we can see the hills, rivers, trees, people and objects around us. Only with this, we can see the beautiful views of nature like clouds, rainbow, flying birds, moon, stars, etc. Let us move towards the try this. Students, switch off the light in your room at night for some time and then turn it on again. Could you see the object in the room clearly when the light was switched off? What did you feel when it was turned on again? Students, from this activity, you will notice that there is some connection between the sense of vision and light. When we switch off the light at night, the objects in the room cannot be seen and they can be seen as before when the light is switched on again. Thus, we can see objects when the light coming from this object enters our eyes. The light entering our eyes may be emitted by the object or may be reflected by that object. What is meant by reflection by an object? To understand this, let us learn about the reflection of light. Students, when light rays falls on an object, the direction changes and they turn back. This is called the reflection of light. Let us see them. Try this. Materials window was torchlight, mirror, a stand for hanging the mirror, black paper, comb, white paper, and drawing board. Let us see what we have to do. So the activity is fit a white paper tightly over the table or drawing board. Leaving out some portion in the middle of the comb, cover the rest with black paper so that light can only pass through the open central partition. Hold the comb perpendicular to the white paper and throw torch light on its central portion. Adjust comb, torch so as to get light rays on the white paper. Now keep a mirror in the path of this ray of light as shown in the figure. What do you observe? Students, in this activity, light rays which falls on the mirror get reflected and travel in a different direction. The rays falling on any surface are called incidental rays. The point at which an incidental ray falls is called the point of incidence. The rays going away from the surface after reflection are called reflected rays. The direction of the reflected rays is decided by some rules which are called laws of reflection. Let us learn some definitions before learning about these laws. Let us see the figure. There are mainly three laws of reflection. The middle ray is normal. And the first is the incidental ray and the third one is the reflected ray. The angle of reflection students here ray AO is the incidental ray. Point O is the point of incidence. Ray OB is the reflected ray. Line ON is the normal. The angle AON between incident ray and the normal is the angle of incidence. The angle BON between the reflected ray and the normal ray is the angle of reflection. So here both angle it is of 90 degree. So here we will move towards. Try this. Let us see regular reflection of light. The reflection of light from a plane and smooth surface is called 
regular reflection of light for regular reflection the angle of incidence as well as of reflection are the same for all parallel rays falling on the surface thus the reflected rays are also parallel to one another if the angles of incidence and incident ray are i1 i2 and i3 and the angles of re reflections are r1 2 3 respectively then these both are equal to the same means small r and capital r both are equal let us see irregular reflection of light let us see irregular reflection of light reflection of light from a rough surface is called irregular reflection of light in irregular reflection the angles of incidence for parallel rays of incident are not equal and therefore their angles of reflection are also not equal means they are not equal to each other thus the reflected rays are not parallel to one another and spread over a large surface let us see reflection of reflected light students can you tell how do you see if the barber in a salon has cut the hair on your neck properly or not what type of image do we see in a mirror what happens to the left and right sides and how do we see the image of the moon in water students in salon there are mirrors in your front and at back the image of the back of your head is formed in the mirror at the back the image of this image is formed in the mirror in front of you thus you can see how the hair at the back side of your head is cut how do we see the image of the moon in water as moon is not self luminous the sun light falling on the surface of the moon is reflected this reflected light is again reflected by water to give us the image of the moon in this way light can be reflected several times let us see what is kaleidoscope we will see the activity take three rectangular mirrors of the same size using sticking tape stick the mirrors together making a triangle with the reflecting surface facing inwards and third take a white paper of triangular shape and fix it with tape at one end of the mirror closing that end insert four to five colored glasses pieces in the hollow of the mirror close the other end also with a paper and make a hole in it look through the hole towards light you will see innumerable images of the glass pieces these are formed due to reflections by the three mirrors you can see different designs in the kaleidoscope the speciality of a kaleidoscope is that the design do not easily repeat themselves every time design is different people making wallpaper which are used to decorate walls and clothes designers are kaleidoscope for making new designs let us see periscope again we will see the activity take a cupboard box make slits in the top bottom sides of the box and place the two mirrors so that they can make an angle of 45 degree with the sides of the box and the parallel to each other fix them with the sticking tape make two windows of 1 inch near the two mirrors now see through the bottom window make note of what you see from the bottom window one can see what is in the front of the top window this device is called periscope this is used in submarines to see objects above above the surface of water It is also used to observe and keep a watch on the objects or persons on the ground from an underground bunkers. Kaleidoscope and periscope both use the properties of reflection of light. Students, here we have finished this lesson. We will meet again in the next chapter. 
सो टेक केयर बाय स्टूडेंट्स